tell me that Jimmy's the only rock and roller left in this fucking town. Let's have a good time, shall we?
Okay, now I'm ready. Uh, I'm ready. Okay, now I'm ready.
We always, I'm normally not one to complain because the sound man is your best buddy, but we have no monitors. And don't kill me on a bad night. Please don't kill me. I'm so far from home. Mommy, Toto, where are you? I'm north of the border. They, they still think I'm guilty of drug possession. I, I swear it was dismissed. Just tell them about the border. It's less harsh. Yeah, this, we're trying to get a buzz going here tonight. Christ, is it Toronto? Is it a drink up here? A bunch of people drink, they'll tell me over this. Working for, oh, that's right, love a boy. Working for the hoover. Come on, don't give me that shit.
Thank you. 
have one last song. Hopefully it will come out tomorrow night and have them come out. Yeah. We've got a few more there that we've got in mind. You know, like Jefferson Star, Ride the Tiger. Ride the Tiger Cats. Hey, this guy looks more of so we play less. Here's the one guy who likes good stuff. Exactly, you don't want, you wouldn't like to share who this guy.
We, got, we have two people going, play another. We got two people going, please make them go back home. How are you getting that band going? Well, what are we going to do, too? If I can just get a cold beer, can I get a cold fucking beer? Sorry. Who's song? What? They stop selling beer? They stop selling beer, they will stop playing the pink games. Let's do a song. We're gonna do a song that's called I Can't Believe You. drugs down there. Good God. Mine's a terrible thing to wish. This song is called I Can't Believe You.
tomorrow night in Hamilton. Tiger Cats. All right, man, just do that, Captain. There you go, Sam and Sarah. See you tomorrow night. Last time I saw you guys were like, I don't know, geez, 98 or 99? Yeah. Remember the Elma Combo? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yes. yeah. What do you remember about that show? I remember Dan smashing a fucking mug on the fucking sit-down Atari table. I think it was Space Invaders, maybe. Um, I don't know. It was fun. Uh, we played with Teen Crud and the Sinisters. It was good. I was just glad we played at a place that the Stones uh, recorded si side three of Love You Live at. You know, I thought that was really cool. <laughs> I, was, I was happy about that. Sorry. I could say that to my sister and she would almost know what I'm talking about. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I guess you haven't seen the place recently. It's There's like, the dance uh, club oh, now. Man, all these like, oh, look at these Moroccan lamps and stuff like that. It's like totally, yep. yeah. oh, it's, it's so awful. It's, like, it's, it's not the same club, but it has the same name. No, no. It's like, I don't know, it's like, a, to me it's like a bit of rock and roll history. It just like sort of gone down the drain. That sucks. Oh. Well, where are you guys from? We're from um, Norfolk, Virginia, uh -huh. and um, that's, uh, well, it took us about 14 hours to get here, so, you know, um, it's on the coast of uh, um, the East Coast, like, right before, you know, it's kind of in between the North and the South, it's in the middle, What sort of clubs you have out there? Um, right now, it's kind of lacking. Um, Larry is uh, um, doing a small place that's having punk rock shows. Things are getting a little bit better, but... It's really up and down, you know, you know, there'll be a couple of good years where there's a lot of out-of-town bands coming in and uh, people are booked regularly, but right now even our band, and, you know, it's tough for us to get a show in the town, so it's weird, but, uh, yeah. Why, why is that? Why is it tough for you guys to get a show? Um, right now, uh, every club that used to book us uh, either folded, folded or changed management and won't have punk shows or rock shows there now. So it's just, uh, it's kind of a weird state. Fortunately, somebody opened a club that Larry's working at and things seem like they're turning around a little bit. We'll see what happens. Yeah, you know, I've been with the ups and downs in that town, so. Yeah. I guess speaking of ups and downs, what do you think of tonight? Like, there was only like maybe like 30, 40 people. On oh, the um, side. well, you know, I mean, I was hoping there was more, but you know, you always hope there's, every, everything's gonna be packed out, and I don't know. Well, what can I say, man? I'm just, I'm just glad I, I had fun. You know, shit. Uh, yeah, I wish there was more people, but I'm not gonna be like, you know, all down in the dumps about the fact there wasn't more people here because. We don't come here often. The people that showed up, I did the best I could do for them, even though I'm on the fucking hash, which I don't normally ever smoke. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, what do you think of the, you know, let's, it's a funny thing, you know, like when you think of like, let's say, the White Stripes or you know, all those sort of bands, it's like, they're sort of like writing on your coattails or writing on your shoulders. Or what, what do you think of all that? Um, I don't know. I'm, I, I, <laughs> First of all, I don't, I, I don't think about it because it's like, uh, I mean, that was just driving you insane if you think about stuff like that. And I, I really, I don't know, you know, it's the night, the White Stripes have been around forever and I, I remember what they were all about when they first started and everything and whether it was related or un unrelated to us, it doesn't matter to me. I'm good for them. I'd rather hear them on the radio than what I was hearing on the radio two months before. And not like I listen to the radio. I don't even listen to the radio. I'm, every once in a while, I'm forced to listen to the radio somewhere because there's radio people around me. And I'd rather hear the White Stripes than uh, uh, New Kids on the Block, I guess. So, good for them. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm not going to sit sit here and rain on their parade. Uh, I could sit here and wish it was my parade, but, uh, you know, you know, good for them. <laughs> so tell me that. What, what happened since, like, uh, 98 or 99? What, what, what happened to the fans after that? Um, uh, we, we've been around and we've actually done tours and stuff. We had a hard time uh, releasing material. We were in and out of bass players like crazy 
our original bass player was kind of in and out of the band. And at this point, Doug, the guy that was with us tonight, uh, Doug Duncan, nicknamed Goose, he's, he's going to be our permanent bass player from here on out. So our predictivity will be stepping up. Um, should be recording a new album soon. It, it was just hard to get new material together. With uh, We had a revolving door of bass players. So we had, even though we did tours, we weren't supporting anything because we weren't really releasing anything. We have new songs, and, and they'll be out, you know, uh, hopefully by the end of January, and uh, hopefully we'll record them in October. You know? I mean, so, you know, it's, it looks like they're going to be out on uh, Reservation Records. So, Reservation? Yeah. Yeah, so that's, that's what's going on. Who were you on with, like, uh, what was it, 98 or 99? Uh, probably Go-Kart at the time, I would, I would guess. Those guys, uh, I mean, they, they, they often put out the next record and stuff, but the main guy that we worked with at the label, he left, and I don't know, you know, it's... You know, Obvious, they, they have their money makers and we're not one of them, so, you know, it's like, ah, you know, I'm not going to say anything. Yeah. Does that sort of drag you down? Or? No, nothing drags me down other than, like, if, uh, you know, if I can't get out of the town playing an out-of-town gig in two months, that'll drag me down. I like playing live, and, you know, if I can get out of the fucking state, uh, I'm usually not dragging down too much. This it boils down to what we saw here, too. What is it about that? What, no, why, why is it that we just sort of see the stage where it doesn't matter whether you have 100 people there or 200 people in the crowd or 40 people in the crowd? What is it that makes you put on Well, if there's 40 people in the crowd, they're, it's obvious the show wasn't advertised to the teeth. And the people that did show up are the people that are fucking hungry for new music and good music and the stuff that we can provide for them. So I feel like I'm playing to the quality of people and I'm going to give them the best I can, even if it was like nine people, you know? If nine people showed up somewhere, I'd be fucking bummed out and thinking everything sucked. But you know what? The nine people that were there probably, you know, salivating for some rock and roll to come into town. And if I'm there, it's what I'm supposed to do. So I do it, you know? It's the only thing I know how to do. So it makes me happy. That's what makes me happy. <laughs> That's what it was, you know, like this whole drummer's, this whole summer was really dry. Was it? No, absolutely. So it's like awesome. My whole su summer's been a, a blur of being at work, and uh, when I'm not at work, like, doing as much drugs as I could possibly do. <laughs> uh, and it was just like, I was so glad we were getting out of the town. And it was like, you know, it was just like, God, when we got across the border today, I was just like, I just decided to some relief and lay down in the back seat. It was like I can actually go to sleep for a couple hours without freaking out while I wake up and stuff and being neurotic and crazy. <laughs> what, what sort of border story do you have to give us? Uh, today, I mean, what was it? I mean, last time we came through, um, they just waved us through basically. They looked at everybody's idea and came through. I thought it was going to happen again, but no, they stopped us. They searched everything, looked at everybody's criminal record, and they're like, oh, there's some questions about people's criminal records. So they started asking a bunch of questions. And they decided that uh, we weren't going to do anything real crazy while we are over here, so they let us on it. So, but they didn't know we were a band. We came in to see the Blue Jays and the Yankees play at the <laughs> Skydo. <laughs> and we were going to, you know, some friends of ours was, were going to take us out after the game. That's, that was what we told them. Uh, hopefully the government doesn't catch up with this video. <laughs> and I'm sure an FBI guy will be knocking at the door wanting like some sort of like $400 that we should have paid at the border or something in two months if they see this. <laughs> the government cool. might be, but ours will <laughs> But we just decriminalized uh, marijuana up here. Did you hear yeah. about that? Yeah, I, uh, I think that's as uh, uh, conservative as I could be on a lot of things. I think that, that it should be decriminalized everywhere. Yeah, I don't necessarily think it's like a movie. <laughs> I don't know, I don't smoke this stuff. <laughs> I don't know. I think everybody should do whatever they want as long as it's not fucking bothering anybody else. So I, I, I don't want to talk about politics, man. I'm not a politician. <laughs> what, what's the general question that everybody has of Canada? Of Canada? Yeah. Um, as a. As a, what, as in a, the United as States? Touring, as a touring band. As a touring band? Oh, it's, it's uh, the, as a touring band. It's the impression you have of Canada is a, is a place that you uh, almost have to, as a touring underground band, you almost have to lie to the border to get into the country and not have any like uh, any CDs with your names on it because they'll find it and be like, you're coming over to make money, you know. But that's just the border. As far as Canada as a whole, I, I think Canada's, uh, I don't know. It's like the States, uh, but everybody's nicer.
I know he's gonna smash the window out of my car and steal my guitar. <laughs> yeah.